in the heart of downtown Chicago, right off Michigan Ave. Labriola is one of three locations to enjoy comforting Italian dishes with friends and family or a few cocktails with your intimate other. When you envision the perfect summer day in Chicago, this is it. Outside in the warmth with the cool breeze and a slice of deep dish while taking a lunch break from all the shopping, Labriola also specializes in tavern style and pan crust pizza. So grab your Aperol spritz and mangiamo. Let's eat. Hi, how are you? Hi, Welcome Scott, how are you LeBron. doing? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you. I'll give you a numbers here. Hi, Scott. Welcome to La Riola, Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Um, have you, you obviously have never been here before? Never no, been never. here. Let me tell you briefly what we are. So we are an all-encompassing restaurant. We have a lot of different concepts within one building, within one property. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to see is La Briola. We're very much a hybrid. We're not an Italian restaurant with a little bit of pizza, and we're not a pizza house with a little bit of Italian food. We have all of it, and all at the high level, too. On top of that, our company, which is Doughboy Restaurant Group, is an umbrella company that holds two other companies. So it's it Stan's Donuts and then also La Briola. Plus this restaurant, we have two other locations out in the suburbs. Stan's Donuts, we have 13 throughout the Chicago wow. area. This is the one location that shares some space with Stan's and some space with La Briola. We have gelato, grab-and-go drinks, beautiful display of donuts. We have a lot of different coffees. A lot of people will come in have donuts, and then they'll go next door and they'll have lunch. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see them come yeah. back for, for <laughs> gelato too at the same time, yeah. which is great. <laughs> This is the back dining room. This is where the large parties will happen uh, uh, for the majority of them, for, for the most part. You can fit up to 100 people between these two parties. We can break this down however you want to. We also use it for overflow um, on busy nights, which every night can be busy night in the summertime. And the, the back, the smaller dining room back there is, it's really a quaint, nice, beautiful area for either meetings, okay. smaller parties. We can fit up to 40. We can do as little as 20, but you know, whatever you need to do, we can do. This is where all the magic happens. And that young man right back there is Chewy Reynoso. He's our executive chef. And he'll have a staff of up to 25, 26 people when we're fully staffed, working in various different uh, positions. We run two triple deck uh, pizza ovens oh at all God. times. So if you look in our pizza ovens, how deep they are, <laughs> right? And they're very specific to the degrees and the temperatures yeah. of what we use. Wow. That's crazy. Cool. And, and, and it's set up so this is kind of, you can see the dining room, you can see the restaurant, what's going on and stuff like that. Uh, and then people can come up and they'll look through the glass, they'll watch them making pizzas. It's really interesting. It's, it's very, it. it's cool. <laughs> The gentleman that I work for, his name is Rich Labriola. I met Rich 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Okay. His story was that he he started delivering bread out of the back of his Ford Escort at a, at a young age for a couple different bread companies. He, he thought to himself, I can do this myself. I can learn how to make these baguettes sure, myself. Yeah. And, he, you know, so that's where it all started. He, he started developing a baguette and more and more bread, you know, and, and the, the a, a bakery developed and then it grew into a production facility and and all that and he always wanted to get into restaurants and so you know he'd wanted to uh, open a, a, a restaurant in Oak Brook Illinois which is a, a quick service restaurant that we have it's called La Riola Cafe that's where this whole thing started from there we introduced stands to the concept then La Barra which is out in Oak Brook and then this is the last of the restaurants to I believe this is the last of the restaurants to open up Rich has always had a passion for doing things well it's go big or go home you know, and if, if you're gonna do it, you do it to the best of your ability, or, or why even try? What's the point? Definitely. It's really interesting hearing you talk about his story and seeing how his uh, his entrepreneurship started just selling bread out of his car and to, to now this huge production. So that's pretty amazing. You know, this restaurant just had a trajectory of going up and up and up, and it, the energy level is high, the food quality is high, service level is high. It's just a great, fun place to come. But pre-pandemic, -pre we, we were, you know, even doing even better at that point in time, growing and growing and growing. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, everybody knows what happened after yeah. March of 2020. It's just, it's, and it's been a, it's been a, uh, it's been a fight ever since. It's a but good word. It is. It, I think everybody's in the same situation. Everybody's fighting, and you got to be creative in the way you do things. But you know, it's been a fight since. So. Yeah. So how have you, how have you adjusted to COVID? I think. With COVID, first and foremost, once everybody got over the shock of it, you know, you have to, 
I think you have to be very respectful to COVID, no matter what. You have to, you have to, interpersonally, you have to be respectful of it in, in terms of following the, the self-imposed rules, like you can, wearing a mask, socially distancing people and stuff like that. And then we do everything that we can within the restaurants, you know, to keep our restaurants safe. We, you know, sanitation of tables and, and touch surfaces. Uh, we eliminated tables, you know, that, that we, did, we had in the past. We seat at the proper capacity. Uh, do all the things that we need to do t to ensure not just that our guests are safe, but our staff is safe too. And anybody else that walks in this restaurant is safe. Um, you know, and that becomes scary. And in turn with that too, I think, you have to be, as an operator, um, you have to be willing to change on a day-to-day -day basis, and sometimes on an hour-to-hour -hour basis. And you have to be very creative with the things that you do, you know, whether it's conceptually, um, service-minded, staffing-minded, any of those things. I'll tell you one, one cool thing that we did, you know, during the pandemic, and it was specifically for this restaurant, as we developed a virtual concept, which I've never done that before, and nobody else. And we took a stab at it, and, and the way that came about is we, you know, we did a, at one of our other restaurants, we did a, a Tuesday taco day, our, our birria tacos. Which birria tacos are very, very popular right now. It's one of the coolest things there are. And so we developed a virtual concept around birria tacos, and we call it La Birria, La Briola, La Birria. Okay, okay. Birria <laughs> tacos. Fine, yeah. and we introduced the birria taco, we introduced pastor tacos, um, carne asada, all, all, all the, all the, you know, all the, um, the traditional tacos. You know, it started off slow, but gradually it's become a hit, and it, you know, really it helps to build revenue in this restaurant. And it's not, it's not something that we overly advertise or anything. It's like one of those very sleek, cool, you know, secretive menus that you find, and we have a great, you know, uh, yeah. one of those secrets on Laviolas. Yeah, right? it's really cool, and I think we're going to take those tacos out to the western suburbs That's here in the fine. next month or so too. So. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you have to do. For sure. You, just, you gotta be creative, think outside the box, be willing to take a, you know, a swing at something and do something. Can you tell us, uh, what do you love about Chicago? One, I met my wife here, Aww. and she's a Southside girl. Um, and two, I had my daughter was born here too. Okay. So those are the two most important things, 100%. The thing about Chicago that really, really impresses me and that I love is the diversity of yes. the people that live here and the diversity of the different things that you can do. I mean, you can go to different neighborhoods and, and they change so much from neighborhood to neighborhood. The cuisine changes so much from neighborhood to neighborhood. Um, La is known for three types of pizzas. Artisan style pizza was a hand toss, very airy crust. Um, it's cooked at a higher temperature. A smaller pizza, you're going to get more exotic type um, uh, ingredients on that pizza. Okay. Mm. Um, then you have your tavern style pizza. It was a thin crust pizza cut in squares. You know, that comes from back in the days when they used to hand out squares of pizza with, with beers and taverns and stuff like that, the smaller taverns. Yeah. And then, of course, our deep dish pizza, which, you know, we're, we're, we're known, voted best deep dish pizza in all of Chicago by the Hungry Hound. We use the best ingredients, local grown, and then all the attention and the love that we pay towards it. The finished product is amazing. Now, what is one thing you want people to know when they hear Labriola? Labriola Labara, like I said earlier, it's not a pizza place that has Italian food. Right. And it's not an Italian place that has pizza. Because those are two different restaurants and those are very common restaurants. We're a hybrid. We have the best pizza you can possibly get your hands on and we have a high level Italian uh, menu to go yeah. with it. And, and, and there's a lot of offerings there to go with it too. And I, that's what I think separates us from everybody else. Um, and, and after that, if there's something you got that, that you really want, and we have the stuff to do it in the house, we're gonna do it for you. We don't mind doing it. Uh, I am in heaven right now. <laughs> and you love Italian food. <laughs> and I food. love Italian food. I cannot express that enough. Everything about Italy, I just love. How do I say, let's eat in Italian? Let's eat is mangiamo. Mangiamo. <laughs> The white deep dish mm -hmm. looks absolutely beautiful. Wow, there's so much that's inside the pizza. Oh, it's kind of spicy. You can see a little peppers on top, mm -hmm. but holy cow. So wow. many good flavors that are just perfectly balanced that's together. That's incredible. <laughs> that's really good. Really good. And I'm pizza. not normally a white pizza type of person, um, but this is amazing. Just yeah. the amount of cheese on it, wow. There's so many different flavors. Yeah. Just very balanced, really good pizza. Mama's meatballs? Sure. Mmm. 
That sauce is very delightful. I like it. Yeah, some good red sauce. I like it a lot. The meat is soft, mm -hmm. tender. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the spices inside of it. Literally, when I think of Italy, think of basil, cheese, sauce. Oh my god. That's fantastic. I love this. Yeah. We'll try the shrimp Dijon. Okay. And this is what Scott said he, that he really yeah, liked. Yeah, this, and this yep. is newer on the menu, so I'm really excited to try this new dish. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Creamy. That's amazing. Buttery. Mine not too buttery. It's light. It's yeah, not exactly. it's not very thick, not very heavy. These pieces of shrimp are pretty big, very meaty. Mm-hmm. Now normally in Italian, um, when you take the bread, you dip the, the bread in the sauce as leftover and they call it uh, scarpetta. So it just means like the slipper. So you take the bread and you dip it in the sauce. It's normally like marinara or something like that. I want to do it with all the sauces. <laughs> Let's move on to the oriochette. This is sausage, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and these red peppers look so pretty. That's a light sauce, and I really like that. It's yeah. not very salty, mm -mm. which is um, really important when you're cooking with sausage. It has good flavor, but it's not too much. Out of all the dishes, which one is your favorite? I'm having a tough time just kind of ranking it because we have <laughs> meatballs, we have pizza, you know, we have a pasta. The pizza is very different. I don't think I've ever, I've I had anything choose. like this in Chicago. I've never had a white pizza. a white sauce deep dish pizza. I mean, yeah, that's this is the first time I've ever had a white deep dish pizza. Yeah, I really love the meatballs, and that's saying something because I'm very picky with my meatballs. Cheers, Labriola. Cheers, Labriola.